Hello, my name is Will Carmack. In today's After Effects tutorial, I'll be showing you how to pull a sheet off of someone and then underneath of the blanket is nobody. Magic. Pure insanity. Halloween. I've done this effect in a cave once in Malta and I had no one to film with, so I just filmed with myself and I think it turned out beautifully. And so now I did it with Jason Derulo for his TikTok. So now I'll break it down for you. Oh, and before we get started, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So here we are in Adobe Premiere and we have our clip. At first, you know, I try and ground myself in reality. I jump around and make it really seem like someone's under there. I will say in the TikTok comments, they complained that you could see my feet, but I did that intentionally. So when the blanket gets pulled off, it's more of a, oh, wait, no one was under there? But they thought it was like a gotcha moment, so. But what I was trying to do is I'm grounding myself in reality, you know, making it really seem like someone's there. Um, Jason hits me with a frying pan and then he pulls the blanket off of me. But you can see in the original clip when he pulls the blanket off of me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still there and I'm I awkwardly run out as fast as I can so basically it's just a tripod shot you're underneath the blanket and then as soon as the blanket gets pulled off you'll run out of frame you can see Jason just continues to act and pretend like nobody is there and then at the very end of the scene I get my clean slate so the exact same shot but with nobody in it we're gonna take these two clips and bring them into After Effects all right and now we have our two clips in After Effects the first thing we need to do do is find our clean slate, which is right here. I'm gonna right click on this part of the video, go to time and hit freeze frame. And so now this entire clip is just the still of the clean slate. We can drag that out for as long as possible. And so what we need to do is just completely mask out the ghost and then slowly fade in the clean slate underneath of it. So essentially this is just a, a masking trick. And so from right here in the sequence, I will start masking. And so now what I'll do is I'll duplicate this top clip and I'll trim off everything before this point because I'm gonna turn this until here into a mask. All right, and so if you come up to the top, I use the roto brush tool and then you double click on your scene. You can now start masking this, this sheet. I won't bore you with the details, but I'm gonna go frame by frame and mask out this whole sheet. All right, now this part is super important. As the blanket starts to get pulled past your body, stop Stop including your shoes and the rest of your body in the mask. So after this point where the blanket basically covers the shoe, now that it's getting pulled off, I'm going to make sure that I don't leave the shoes into the mask because now everything underneath the blanket is gonna be the clean slate. So we no longer want somebody to be underneath of it. So as you're masking, just make sure that you're constantly getting rid of the leftovers of your body. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to make this fun and relatable, you know? You can see here, I'm masking out my belly. Every time the blanket comes up just a little bit, or it sticks to my clothing. So you basically just need a constant stream of fine tuning the rotoscope to not include your body. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm doing that thing where your essay requires like 2000 words. And so you write a bunch of extra words. That's me right now as I'm talking over this rotoscope. So this video isn't two minutes long. Hey, at least I'm honest. Okay. you get the point you freaking mask out this blanket and don't include yourself I'm gonna speed to the next step and BAM we're done if I solo this blanket layer check this out there I am as a ghost and I even masked in Jason's legs so if you want to do that extra safety and then as he pulls the blanket I am no longer underneath of it beautiful this is a great mask I will unsolo this layer and so now you can see if I drag the clean slate underneath of it it's the entire background underneath just my mask. So if I get rid of the clean slate, you can see it's just the, the original clip. So we wanna isolate our clean slate just to where the blanket is. So if I grab the pin tool and I create a mask only where I'm standing underneath of the blanket, you'll see that when he pulls the blanket off, I'm no longer there. Oh, but you saw my arm right here. You see my arm? So grab the clean slate and then just drag that to where your arm was and then hit M twice to drop down the masking options and just 
feather it. And since you masked out Jason Chu, you can bring the mask over here and let's watch that back. Oh wait, I think I saw my head right there. Yes, let's get rid of my head. I'll bring that up higher. But you don't want the clean slate for the entire clip because then you can see down here at the bottom. Like if I get rid of this clean slate, you can see that there's all the shadow detail and there's a little bit lighting. So since there's a drastic change in the background, you want to slowly fade it in before this point. So right here, before I get uncovered, I'll create an opacity keyframe because it's at 100 and I'll bring it back to this point and I'll bring it down to zero. And so now if we solo this layer, what's happening is the clean slate is slowly fading in. And when that is behind the mask, here's what you get. Bam, you pull a sheet and there's no one underneath of it. So it's literally just a combination of a clean slate and a well-masked blanket. And it's super important always to slowly fade in your clean slates underneath of a mask. Boom, baby! That is how you make the After Effects sheet pool animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something today. You know, in lieu of Halloween, I had to make some spooky tutorials. And now, of course, is the part where I tell you about the lovely sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a professional photographer. That's perfect because Squarespace has portfolios and galleries. So you can display your work to the world and the best part is their award-winning designer templates. So you're putting your photography into some beautifully laid out digital display cases. It'll make your work seem even cooler. And let's say that you have a lot of social medias and you wanna stay connected. What's great is you can embed your social medias into your website. So if you have like an Instagram, you can just put that right in your website or maybe your SoundCloud wrapper. You can embed your SoundCloud into the website as well. So people can come to your website and find you on all of your other social medias. Good for cross promotion. And lastly, Squarespace has amazing analytics. If you wanna know who's coming to your website, what products are selling the best, all the numbers, money, success, website clout, I don't know. But all of those details would be in Squarespace Analytics. And I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Bill Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. And I hope you learned something today, guys. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.